Hey, y'all, Crazy Pop here, and boy, we have a good one for you today. We are making sweet banana breakfast pancakes, I guess is what I'm going to call this thing, on the Blackstone. I got the idea for these bananas from a good friend over at Dollywood, Wes. If y'all know Wes, be sure to tell him thank you for this recipe. Wes, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. The bananas are delicious. And I'm going to throw them up on this Blackstone, just like Wes told me. And we're going to put them in some pancakes, and we're going to top them off with some different things. It's going to be so good, so good. But before we get started, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun here at Crazy Acres. We'd love to have you join our family with us. Please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. And hey, let us know down in the comments down below that you're new. We'd love to give you a big welcome. If you've been here, man, thank you so much. We're growing, and you are the reason that I continue to do what we do. We love doing this. And love hearing the feedback from y'all, good and bad. And trust me, I read every comment. May not get to every comment right away, but I do read them and I do try to respond to them. So with that being said, be sure to check our link tree down below. Also, all our great social media sites, our Facebook, our Twitter, our TikToks, our other channels, our Hanging With The Crazy Crew stuff, where we go to Dollywood, all that good stuff is over on the other channels. So be sure to check the link tree for all that good stuff. But right now, let's fire this griddle up and let's show you some groceries. All right, let's fire this thing up. I'm going... These three burners right here, and I'm gonna go down to low. And I'm leaving this side over here as a warm zone in case I need to just slide anything over. One more thing, be sure to stick around for the end of the video. We got a mail call. Here is our ingredients. Of course, gotta have pancake batter to make pancakes. There's our bananas. I cut up maybe about three of them right there. Uh, we have a cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. We have some half a stick of butter I tabbed up already. We got some Nutella, and for toppings, I have some raspberry, we got some blueberries, and some strawberries. Got some white smoke coming off the griddle. That only means one thing. It's time to put some groceries up on this griddle. So we're going to start out with some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Throw in that cinnamon. Throw down them tabs of butter. Pats of butter, tabs of butter, whatever you want to call it. Pats, tabs. And guess what? Throw in your bananas. Now this cook goes really quick. Give them a stir. Get them all nice. Oh, that smells so good. Already, that brown sugar is smelling off. And if you need to, you see it's becoming too thick like this right here. Just add just a tad of water to it just to kind of add a little bit of liquid to it like that right there there we go see how that kind of loosens it all up you see sometimes that but that that brown sugar clumps up that's fine though look at that look at that all right so what we're gonna do now is just kind of let this kind of cook kind of like we did them pecans so we're gonna let that cook and be just a minute. We're gonna start these pancakes. Now just come back in here and just give them a stir. Every now and then. Just see that, that sauce is starting to thicken up a good bit now, but not too thick. All right. Believe it or not, these things are done. Let's slide them over here to the warm zone. Slide them over here. Now we'll keep them over there and we will flip them every now and then, just kind of stir them up every now and then while we cook these pancakes. But speaking of pancakes, we got to clean off a spot to cook the pancakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this and push it over here with all this other good stuff. Like so. All right, let's get these pancakes on the griddle. Throw down some butter, some butter. And now I'm just gonna put some on here. All right, let's get some pancakes on here, y'all. I'm gonna make quite a few of them, but I'm gonna make some big ones. I'm not real good at measuring. We're going to make five of them, looks like. Or four and a half. 
So I'm not real good at measuring, but that's all right. We'll get it on there, get them going. There we go. All right, look like we're gonna make five. And what I did is I made the recipe on the back of the box to equal five to six each. I doubled that recipe and I made five big ones. Got them nanners looking good over here. Oh, look at here, y'all. Look what we got going, got some pancakes. Now, one of my downfalls is I'm not real good at cooking pancakes. The simple stuff sometimes can be the hardest. I think cook a little longer, what you think? That's all right, I can flip it back over if I need to. Speaking of flipping, let's stir these bananas up. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look how thick they're getting. Oh, boy. That's going to be some good stuff right there. All right, let's see. Looking better, looking better. Not bad, not bad. It's going to be some big old pancakes, y'all. It's going to be some huge pancakes. So while those are getting done on that side, let's stir our bananas up again, y'all. I want you to just look at them bananas. Just look at that. Would you just look at that? Now, I'm not the world's best pancake cooker, so what I do is I just keep flipping them until they get to brown like I want them. Now, I don't know how dark you like your pancakes. I don't like mine real dark. Those are actually looking pretty good, honestly, to me. I say we take these things up and we do something to them. Get me a plate. Gonna stack them up. Y'all look at that plate of pancakes right there, would you? Big ol' hot steaming pancakes. All right, pancakes are taking up. The bananas are sitting over there just doing their thing over there in that nice brown sugar buttery sauce. But we got to do something to these pancakes real quick. So come on, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, what we're gonna do to these things now is we're gonna put some of this Nutella on them. It's a Nutella, Nutella, what is it? I don't know. Just take it and now we're just gonna spread some on here, y'all. Spread it around. Make it as thick as you want it. Yeah, like that. Then we're going to take them. Get that out of my way. You kind of just lay that taco rack like that right there. So let's get all these done up. And then we're going to fix, make them even better. We'll put that one over here. There we go, y'all. Uh oh, knocking stuff over. There we go. Now, we gotta do some stuff to this thing. All right, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and build these things. I'm gonna do it over here on the griddle where the, the, the good bananas are at. So give me a cutting board. Put our tacos over there. Let's bring our uh, toppings over. All right, so now all we gotta do is put our bananas on and build them like we want. So just take your bananas and just start filling them in. Oh boy, that's gonna be good. Now if all you want some bananas without brown sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon in them, that's fine. If you don't want the Nutella, hey, that's fine too. You build them like you want them. This is kind of what we played around with and ended up being really, really good. What I'm gonna do is just kind of use my last few little bananas here and put them in somewhere. Yeah, it looks like I belong in that one there. How's that? Yeah, we'll put you in there. Now from here, top them like you want. Them blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, whatever kind of berries you may want to put on there. Whatever kind of syrup you may want. Who knows? I, doggone it. You know what I meant to do? I meant to get some powdered sugar and kind of just sprinkle over. You do that on yours, let me know how it turns out. I forgot the powdered sugar and I ain't going to get it. So I think, We'll drizzle on some blueberries on this last one right here. Kind of tuck them in different places. Let's see, let's do some strawberry on this one. I think I'm just gonna make a mixture of them, how's that? And just tuck that stuff in, make them nice and pretty. Cause I've said it once and I'll say it again, pretty food tastes better, remember that. All right, let's do a raspberry. 
Every time I say raspberry, I think of the song Raspberry Beret. Just makes me want to sing. But I won't. I'll spare y'all. What y'all think about them? These are looking delicious. You got to check them out up close. Y'all, look at these sweet banana breakfast pancakes we done did made up on this Blackstone griddle. Man, I want you to just look at that. Let's focus in on you. Yeah, buddy. That's going to be some good eating. Camera can't even focus. It's so good. We have to try one of these out, y'all. Look how simple and easy that was. Real quick, fast, simple breakfast. You make this for the kids before school, and I promise you, they probably won't want to go to school. They probably don't want to go anyhow, but this will really make them want to stay home. But I got to try one, y'all. I think I'm going to try to dig this one out right here. The strawberry one. Uh oh, I'm losing stuff. Oh, son. Wow. Let me put you back for a minute. That. The bananas are done just right with that brown sugar and cinnamon sauce, I guess we made to put on them. I guess it's what you call a sauce. And then the strawberries on that one all come together with that Nutella in there also. Man, it's on my hand, gotta get it off. Now that is delicious. But before we go, remember I told you we had mail. All right, before we take this out, I wanna give a big shout out to Brian Stubbins. That's who sent us this package right here. Uh, thank you so much, Brian is a great supporter of this channel and a lot of other channels. And I wanna thank you, Brian, for all the support you have given us. And I can't say you thank you enough for this package, even though I hadn't opened it and show you what's in here yet. But thank you, Brian, thank you. So let's see what's in here. Now, Brian is from Maryland, so he sent this package a good ways. Oh, uh, huh, I think I know what this is. Oh yes, it is. It is the limited edition Blackstone knife. Oh, I like this. I gotta show you this close up. Y'all, look at that. Ain't that beautiful? And even on the back side. That is beautiful. I love this. It's like the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we've got a screwdriver. Got all kind of different things you can pull out of here. Just like a Swiss Army, but I love this. This is beautiful. Ryan, I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for all you do for this channel. This really wasn't necessary, but I really do appreciate it. I, thank you. I'm going to put this up. This is actually my second mail call I've ever had. And thank you so much for this. This is going with my other. I got a letter from uh, some fans one time. So this is going to go with that. Ryan, thank you. I love this. Thank you so much. All right, I got to take this food into the kids. I got to go hide this from the kids. And we'll see you next time.